If you've been watching some of the videos recently, you've noticed that I was able to change out an adapter on Krusty's speedometer that had caused the speedometer to quit working. In doing so, when I pulled that little sleeve out, the little receiver where you slide the driven gear in, the transfer case dripped out some oil. So it got me to thinking about the fact that I've been driving Krusty forever and have never, this is embarrassing, but I have never refreshed the transfer case oil. And so in looking at that uh, on this video, I'll be draining it. This is simple, but it's just a maintenance thing that um, I've never done. We should all be doing it if we have the opportunity. But I'm going to change out the oil on the transfer case as well as the front and rear differential. Uh, hopefully those bolts will come free without being too much of a hassle. Uh, some of Lucas's uh, oil products, the synthetic 7590, uh, gear oil for transfer and differential. So I'm going to use that in uh, in uh, all three of those different areas for lubrication. So I'm going to go ahead and jack Krusty up and then we'll do some uh, lubricant maintenance. And I'm not going to be nearly as silly in this one because I ate some bad oysters about four or five days ago and we're still dealing with food poisoning, I think. I love oysters, but those did not settle well. So, I don't feel so hot. talk about this enough but anytime you're working under the vehicle always put your safety equipment on you know you don't want garbage in your eyes or have to go you got some fleck of rust in your eye and have to go and have them remove it wear your safety protection when you're working under your vehicle it's very important one thing you'll notice on this is your transfer has a uh, hard metal shroud and it's made to protect the whole transfer from impacts so once you pull this drain plug out, the oil is just going to collect um, in the bottom of this shroud. You've got two bolts right here on the front. So you can see your two bolts here that are on the shroud, 14 millimeter. Wow. That was much easier than I expected it to be. Yep. And there's your whole shroud pops right off filled with years of gravel okay so this is your transfer and this is your drain plug here and your fill plug up above Ooh, that one came off and that came off without an issue it's stripping off the shoulders well it has now gotten dark and the wife needed to run out the grocery store I joined her and hit a couple of the other stores I found a six point 24 mil impact that I'm hoping will break it. And because it is a six point, it should grab these uh, sides a lot better than the 12 point. Is it doing it? Yeah. Nice. All right, very cool. Well, I can smell it. Very strong odor. There we go. That is nasty. And it stinks to high heaven. It's pretty amazing that after all these years, uh, with never being changed, that there's so little um, metal on the magnet. It's really not very much, honestly. And I've got my copper washer on there to seal it up. Okay. So I did find that I can take my bottle and I can squeeze it in from above. And then that's going to do the trick. And it should take two quarts of this stuff. Is what it says. Oh, 
All right, there's one down. Yes, it is definitely running out. <laughs> okay, so the assumption is at that point that it is full. Yeah, so I'm going to close it up. So there you have it, pretty anticlimactic kind of scenario, but that is a essential thing that that should have been done who knows how long ago um, from a maintenance standpoint that's a given that that should be updated um, in a reasonable amount of time wonderful Okay, so let's get to the rear differential and same deal. Let's try to crack this thing open first and see how it does. Yes. So there's the top. There it is. Perfect. I do not know what the torque specs are on this. You'd have to look at your manual to figure that out. This is not the most perfect way. This is where I would definitely have used the hand pump. And you keep filling it until it overflows. There we go. And that's got it. So that takes care of freshening up the oil in the transfer case and in the rear differential. Um, I don't think I've got time tonight to do the front differential. to changing out your transfer case oil and your differential oil. The transfer is fairly easy on these vans because it's easy to get at. The differential on the rear axle, it's easy to get to. The front differential, uh, that's where I thought this video would be very quick and easy and uh, I could just kind of throw it all together. I have not really researched this, I've just figured these three items are pretty straightforward and not really a huge deal. Once again, I'm learning by the seat of my pants. Um, the front differential sits uh, underneath where the radiator is. I don't know if you can see it. The front differential sits back behind, or underneath I should say, the radiator. So you've got all of this structure here that uh, serves to beef up the front of the van. It puts your um, front differential in a very, uh, not the most accessible fill hole. The drain hole of the uh, front differential here is not so bad. It's just that to be able to reach up behind here to get to the fill, there's a bunch of stuff in the way. It sits underneath this, um, protective shield you have to remove this there are uh, one two three four there's five bolts that hold that in place so I guess at this stage I'm going to see whether or not I can pull that uh, fill plug and if it does come out then obviously this is a no-brainer to be able to remove the, the drain plug I suppose it's obvious that I'm heading to my local auto parts store in the middle of this project um, as it turns out the, um, the socket won't fit, the wrench won't fit. Sockets basically, in order to get enough leverage on it, it's just too large in that tiny little space. So with that being the case, I am going to have to see if my local O'Reilly's has some sort of alternative 
as far as tools go to get into that small space and still be able to wrench that thing off. So we'll see what happens. Okay, so to bring you up to speed, uh, I was going through the edit and I realized I didn't get around to filming the very last part. I don't know what happened. It's been several months back now, but uh, I did find a solution. I went to O'Reilly's, uh, just as I was mentioning in those previous clips. No success. So I ended up doing some research. I tried like a normal uh, wrench, um, just an open-ended wrench and uh, couldn't get that to work really because it needed to be able to lock on there and it needed to be sort of uh, something to lock onto that six point uh, connection. And what I came up with is I got on uh, the web and I found a 24 mil, um, I can't remember what they call this. And you can, you can tell how it's gonna grab all six shoulders on that fill plug. It's still pretty thick, but I could get it wedged in there and I ended up taking a hammer and tapping the back end of it uh, once I got it onto the fill plug and it worked. So I uh, hope this video was helpful. Uh, as always, just learning as I go and sharing information. Um, I hope you guys are able to do the same. I've learned a ton just from talking to you out there and uh, just taking the time to try and film it. I've got so much uh, in my hard drive right now that needs to be uh, gone through and, and create some films, some more work. So you'll see those as time goes on as I have more time to take care of it. Life has definitely taken a turn here in the beginnings of 2020 and become very interesting. So uh, we're just doing the best we can. So hope you guys enjoy some, uh, some early summer, midsummer uh, trips and I will see you the next time around. When I get the lift done on this guy, I'll have a pretty comprehensive video regarding that. And uh, then maybe I can finally myself upload a few little adventure vids as well. Until then, subscribe, give me your opinions or your insights on uh, the way you see things being done, and we'll all continue learning. Keep your vans on the road, and I'll see you on the next time around. Take it easy.